Research found that one in every seven adults has kidney disease, and out of the estimated 36 million adults in the United States with chronic kidney disease, 90% of these people do not even know they have it, which means that millions of people around the world are suffering from kidney disease and do not even know. And when most of these symptoms become visible, it means a significant irreversible damage may already have been done to your kidneys. So this video is actually more of a crying of warning and action. So do not ignore these seven early signs of kidney disease, which I'm going to share with you in this video. So the first question is, who is at risk? Now there are several new risk factors for kidney disease and I think it is very much important to consider this in determining who should look out for these signs and who should order the one blood test which I'm going to recommend at the end of this video. Now the first risk factor is hypertension or high blood pressure. Now the heart and the kidneys both work synergistically to move and filter the blood. High blood pressure can damage the blood vessels in your kidneys and a damaged kidney on the other hand can not remove excess waste and extra fluid properly leading to high blood pressure. Number two is diabetes. Each kidney is made up of millions of tiny fetal called nephron. High blood sugar from diabetes can actually damage the blood vessels in the kidney and the nephron and as a result they don't work efficiently. Number three is obesity. Now being overweight can independently increase your risk of developing kidney disease but what's interesting is that it also puts you at two additional risks that we just talked about, high blood pressure and diabetes. So obesity is a, is a critical risk factor for developing kidney disease, all right? Now smoking also increases your risk of developing kidney disease. And number five is aging. People who are above certain age like 60s are actually more likely to have a kidney disease. Now let's just go through these seven signs of kidney disease. Now the first sign I want to talk about is a change in urine. Now this is a very common sign. Sometimes you might feel the need to use the bathroom more frequently or less often than usual. You might also experience a decrease in your urine volume. Like you, you could be going to the bathroom but less urine is produced. You might start to feel some pressure or difficulty while urinating. The color of your pee may change to something like brown, purple. And in a rare occasion, you might also start to see blood in your urine and that is called hematuria. But the most common one that people experience but ignore it is actually foamy urine. Your urine appears foamy. That is actually called proteinuria. It actually means that your kidney filtration system is damaged. So most of this protein that we are meant to be fitter and reabsorbed into your body by your kidney start passing through this fitter and because of the chemical nature of protein, once they interact with your urine, they are going to create bubble in your urine. So you see how easy it is to actually ignore most of these signs. Now the second sign to watch out for is edema. Now damaged kidney can filter out excess waste and fluid from your body. So they start to build up and occupy spaces around your vital tissues and organ. So this build up can lead to swollen leg and swollen feet. Now here is a simple test. When you press the swollen area with your finger and it leaves a temporary dent or dimple, that is a clear sign of edema. This fluid can also accumulate in your chest area leading to shortness of breath. You might also start to have puffiness in your skin which causes your skin to stretch and appear shiny. So it's not just about cosmetic. When you are experiencing this, it could be a sign that your kidneys are not doing their job properly. So if you are experiencing swollen leg and swollen feet or swollen face, that could be a sign of a kidney problem and you should not ignore it, okay? And number three is itchy skin. Now it is true that we all get occasional itch but this is actually different. Now imagine your skin is being pierced with a needle or pain and the pain doesn't stop. Sometimes it starts with a light touch and ramps up from there. It feels like it's not just on the surface but deep down to your bone. So you end up scratching and scratching and sometimes it becomes so intense that it becomes impossible to focus on any other thing. So why does this actually happen? Now just like again as I've said before, when you have damaged kidney, your kidney cannot remove toxins from your body. So what happens is that this toxin is going to cause your body to make some chemicals that causes allergic reaction. And on top of that, your nerves is going to start sending wrong signals to your skin that is causing you to be scratching your skin more often than usual. So if you are experiencing inchy skin, that is a sign that your kidney is actually damaged, alright? The fourth sign to be aware of is bad breath or mouth odor. 
Now this might seem a little bit odd, but have you or someone closer to you, maybe your partner, your wife, your husband, or your parent, actually say something about your breath? I mean, does it smell like fish? Does it have an, does it have urine smell? Does it smell like ammonia? Now most people usually mistake this early sign of kidney problem with a dental issue. So they end up brushing their teeth, but that is actually not going to solve it because that is not the cause. The cause of this problem is that your kidney is being damaged. When you have kidney damage and these toxins build up in your body, it will get to a point that your body is going to start smelling like these toxins. So that is when you are going to have this ammonia smell. You are going to have then this urine smell. Okay? So if you are experiencing this, you should not actually brush it off. It could be that your, your kidneys are being damaged and then these toxins are building up in your body. And next is metallic taste. So in addition to bad breath, waste build up in your body can also affect your food taste. It's going to, your food is going to start tasting metallic. You're going to start having this foul taste, almost as if you are drinking iron or some antacid, if you are familiar with, if you are familiar to drinking antacid, okay? And then unfortunately, your favorite food may also become less appetizing. And also weight loss can also set in due to nutritional deficiency, all right? And number six is fatigue. Heavy kidneys produce this one important hormone called erythropoietin, which signals your body to make red blood cells. Now where the problem lies is that as your kidneys begin to fail, they produce less of this hormone and the downstream effect of this is that you are going to have a less production of red blood cells. You are going to feel dizzy, you are going to feel tired, you are going to be anemic, you are going to have low oxygen in circulation, and you are going to feel cold even when people around you are feeling warm, okay? These are the consequences of kidney problem due to less production of an um, erythropoietin, which is a very important hormone, all right? Now, lastly, you're going to feel more mentally troubled. You're going to feel more mentally confused. You're going to feel disoriented. You're going to lack mental clarity. These are signs that um, your kidney is faulty and uh, you should see your doctor. Now, the one important test which I'm going to recommend for you in this video is the glomerular filtration rate. This test is very important in diagnosing early kidney problem, okay? So you should visit your doctor and order this test. It is very, very important. Now, if this is your first time watching my video, kindly hit the subscribe button. And then if you have any suggestion, leave it in the comment below. Thanks for watching.